Well, this place clears out mighty quick when it's <laughs> holiday time. Greetings from Chartway Arena. Ted Alexander, ODU Hall of Famer and NBA champ Dave Twardzik. Monarch saw an eight-game losing streak come to a close here tonight. Especially with the uh, controversy around the departure of two players, there was never a uh, clear cut which way is it going to go. Is it going to be an adverse effect or a positive? Ted, it was all positive tonight. Almost like they took the ankle weights off and went out and had some fun and uh, uh, early and often against a struggling uh, Hawks team. But still, the Monarchs only eight turnovers on this night. They played well and had some fun. Oh, it looked like they were having fun. They shared the ball well. They defended better. And the thing you never knew coming into this, what the energy level was going to be like, it was off the charts. Oftentimes the final game before a holiday break can lead to some sloppy performances. Not for the Monarchs, who jumped out on the Hawks early and often. Uh, Aaron Carver, career-high 16 points, added 16 rebounds, lots of putbacks and lots of dunks. Well, he was the leader out there. He set the tone for us defensively. He was a man on the boards. And offensively, whenever he scores, it's a bonus for us. A.J. Oliver, one of the other Monarchs in double figures, showing the inside and outside game. Well, I, with Marquise leaving, A.J.'s going to have to step up. I, you're not going to see him shoot like he did his opening game against Illinois. But he is an outside threat. He's going to make teams defend him, which should open penetration up and inside play. Speaking of inside-outside play, Jason Wade's always been good at that. If he can get that outside shot going, he's going to be really dangerous. But he was another double-figure scorer tonight. Ted, Jason's just a player. Is, can, can you describe his game? Is there one thing he does well? No, he does everything just good enough, a little bit above average, but he knows how to play. One of the fans, 5,000 plus here at Chartway Arena today, favorite sites was Alvis Palavios, who's going to get more minutes now with the new rotations, hitting his first two shots. Well, it's nice to see Alvis. Alvis has been toiling in anonymity and coming every day to practice, one of the hardest working guys at practice. And now he gets an opportunity and it becomes a positive for him. He's going to get more time. Monarchs defeat Maryland Eastern Shore 76-52, to their first win since November, and now they're off for the holiday break. Next time they'll be here, Dave, it's Conference USA play January 2nd against Middle Tennessee. And that's when it all starts for real. I mean, non-conference is important, but once we start conference play, that's what it's about. He's a gift that keeps on giving 365 days a year. Happy holidays, Dave, and happy holidays to you.